Hi guys, Jonathan from Aisha Images with a brand new little series which I'm calling Three Minute Fridays. That's right, tips, tricks and tutorials. Roll that intro! So at the moment we are still mostly in lockdown all around the world, but what better way than to spend time indoors brushing off and our skills in things like Photoshop and Lightroom. And that's what this video is all about. The idea behind 3 Minute Fridays is to give you a tutorial in either 3 minutes or less. So let's not waste any time, start that counter and let's get into this. Okay, so you've been out of location or in a studio or indoors somewhere doing a shoot with your model. Shoot is done complete, there's some incredible images in the bag, fantastic. Now comes the next part of the art form which is processing and editing. I've shown you how to process in Lightroom, but now we're gonna do our glamour smoothing in Photoshop. Let's jump on here and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so jumping into Photoshop, I open up the image that I want to edit and all I'm gonna do right now is smooth her skin. So I'm gonna hit Command and J to duplicate the layer. We can see down here it has created a second layer above my original background layer. What I like to do then is duplicate it again. I never touch the background image, this is just the way I do it. Go up here to Filter, click on Blur, and you're gonna click on Gaussian Blur. Now, I like to set it at roughly between 12 or 13%. This is a close-up, so I think 13% is good enough. Hit the Enter button, and there you go, you have your blurred layer. And if you turn this on and off, you can see the difference there. Next thing to do is jump straight down here, and if you click on your Option button, and then hit your layer mask tool, that will then put a layer mask over that entire image so that you have now erased the entire blur. Simply now hit Command and Plus to zoom in, and zoom in so that the entire screen is filled with the model's face. Not half of her face, but her entire face. Now what we do is we hit B for our brush tool, make sure you have the white box over here selected because you are bringing the blur back in, and then choose a brush opacity up the top over here that you want. And for the face, I generally go for 50%. You can either control it with the manual slider there, or you can just hit five on your keyboard and that will default to 50. Increase the size of your brush with your keys and then literally paint in. So making sure that as you're going along, you do all of the skin. So come down here, do the jaw, Make sure that you try to avoid all the jewellery uh, and the eyes. Don't do the ears because it looks a little bit strange having smooth ears. Now I'm also not removing any blemishes on her skin at the moment, I'm just purely just smoothing everything down for you. Once you have done that, you might want to decrease your brush size, go in here, get some extra little detail around the top of her eyes, come down to her neckline and once again bring in your brush and brush this in. It's really important that the face is nice and smooth, and then the neck is smooth as well. Once you have done that, you can hit Command and Zero, which will take you to your full screen. And if I turn the blur layer on and off again, on and off again, and I'll zoom back in so you can actually see what we've done. On again, off again, on again, off again. You can definitely see that that is nice and smooth. What you can do now is if you want to, you can select these two layers, hit Command and J to duplicate them, and then Command and E to merge them into one final layer, turn those off, and there you are, you have your layer, which you can now go in and you can remove things like your blemishes, you can do work around the eyes or the lips, and do the rest of your editing, and it is very simple. There you go, it really is that easy. Now this is my style of skin smoothing for llama photography, it's something that I have just found works really well for me, but there are other techniques out there, so it really just depends on what you want to do, whether you're using specialized software which does skin smoothing, or you're doing it manually in Photoshop like I am. There are different techniques, find the one that works best for you. I'm not saying this is the way you have to do it, this is just my way of doing it to get the results that I want. Well we ran out of time a little bit there but that's okay, these things are bound to happen. So I hope you enjoyed the first 3 Minute Friday tutorial, make sure you stay tuned, go out there and I would love to see the results that you get. Follow me on Instagram where you can see more of my work and feel free to tag me on Instagram as well if you've used this particular technique. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, smash the grey notification bell so that you know every single time I upload content whether it be a 3 Minute Friday or any other video, I'd love to have you on board. Feel free to give me a comment below, and if you enjoy this content, give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. So stay safe during the rest of the lockdown period, practice some new skills, and I will see you in the next video. Out! 3 Minute Fridays, why does that all of a sudden feel like such a tongue twister to get out? None of you guys get to see all the outtakes and what goes wrong between all the different cuts. Smash the subscribe button, it's really not that hard.
See, I can say it now. I'm saying it fine.